He, there he is. Get over here, buddy. Come oh, on. Hello. Good morning. All right. All right. Are you doing the show this morning? What's going on, my friend? Uh, not much. How are you doing? Uh, we just got in here. Uh, this is also Tony Camino. He's the feature act this week. Oh, we really? Right. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Double, a double show. Good morning. Shot. <laughs> come to Friday. Yeah, nice to be here. On the, what station is this? This is Rock 105.3. Rock 105.3. Yeah. The Rock. Yeah. Whenever we're in San Diego, we listen to... 105.3. That's it. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Nice. You see? I'm surprised this guy's even up because you were up all, practically all night. What happened? Oh, uh, you know, American Comic Club is a great club. You guys have probably been there. It's great. Oh, yeah. It's an awesome it. hotel. Yeah, and it's a beautiful hotel. Yeah, great hotel. Uh, but I did not sleep well because this couple <laughs> uh -oh. was having the loudest, the craziest sex for hours and You're hours kidding. last night. Oh. oh, right on the internet. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. So, uh, well, well, yeah, and you're, you're, not, you're not having a great week. Well, oh, I'm, really? I'm, I'm pretty angry because I smashed my uh, iPhone, brand new iPhone screen. You're kidding Smashed me. to pieces. What happened? And I got 12 stitches on my right foot. Oh. Whatever you guys do, do not download an application called iScale. Oh, see? Oh, no. That's the it dumb. only that's works it. once. Oh, yeah. No. Bad idea. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Are you guys mad at the NSA? Totally. I'm, I'm mad at them because it's like, they said they've been taking... They said they might have been taping every phone call we've had for the last 20 years. Yeah. I want an apology. Yeah. And I think they ought to make it up to us. I have an idea how they could make it up to the how? American people huh. by giving us access to our own phone calls. Oh. That would come in handy. Like well, the old ones, right? Like, like hey, how so? Well, where, were you? where were you, man? I said I'd be here at 9. No, you said you'd be here at 8.30. No, I didn't. I said I'd be here at 9. Let's go to the NSA. Oh! <laughs> the NSA Argument Settlement Division. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, sir. He said nine. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. In your face. Nice. Yeah. I love That's that. That's a good idea. That is yeah. a really good idea. Turning it into a, a positive. Ideas. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> well, I mean, they're spying on us anyway. We might as well, you know. Yeah, get, get some out of Get yeah, some back. Get some out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's full of them. Yeah. <laughs> you are. You've got some good ideas. Well, I try to innovate. You know, we've been on the traveling all around on the road. Yeah. And uh, you two together? Yeah, I'm, I'm his feature act. He's so no head. matter what, where yeah. ours goes, you go. Uh, unless it's some place that pays really well, then he just <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He takes it all. <laughs> Listen, in smart. Australia, this guy plays theaters, and somehow he said my visa is hooking or something with the government, and I can't get over there. Oh, but, uh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's tricky. But we've been having fun all over America. We're going to San Francisco next, our hometown. But this is beautiful. San Diego is beautiful. Oh, it's, it's the best. It's a treat want, to be here. Actually, I want to get him on the um, the mega tour that I'm doing down under in Australia. Now, are you big, you're big in Australia. Well, I'm doing pretty well. I said nice. to him, I said, get me that registration fee and let's get to San Francisco. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. You, have, you have to have a registration fee. You do that with, you, with this game? You go, did they all fill out the registration fee? Yeah, do you want to start, start that up or something like every <laughs> yeah. morning? Well, well, I was able to wave that because yeah. I like these guys. That's yeah. good. I like that. Well, well, first we have to be invited places and yeah. then there can be a registration fee good afterwards. Point. Yeah. That was him. Sometimes you do a registration different fee. in Australia? I don't know why it would be, but would, is there like comedy? Did they get Get the things that you're talking about? Yeah, unlike here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so it, it, it sounded like, do they? Get yeah, what? right. right. They what's, you're, you're sounding yeah. like, a little bit like, what's wrong with those yeah. guys? Because we don't. Do they understand? Well, what well, I hear their toilets like <laughs> flush bathrooms. <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah, well, well, so like, how are they supposed to understand what you're oh. talking about? You know what I mean? It's true. It's weird the first time you see the toilet flush the opposite direction because here it goes clockwise and down. Yeah. There it goes counterclockwise and up. Oh, oh no, that's not. Watch out. I think maybe you just had a bad luck there. Just a, yeah. big, just a big tunado every time. <laughs> no. oh. Is that like Sharknado? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's the next movie on sci-fi. Oh. Worse, worse than a Sharknado. Yeah. Oh, no. And also, that's why Art Sparker's doing it is because the punchlines come first and then the setup. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's it. Hey, hey, oh. hey, oh. oh. All right, buddy, pipe down. Yeah, yeah. Just don't steal doing. thunder here. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Come this is funnier than our headline. You get both of this. You come to the show, Great America, you don't just get... Uh -uh. You, get, you still get one boring orange Barker. That's great. Yeah, the American Comic Company is one of the best. Oh, but, <laughs> it's the best, man. You got to go check them out this weekend. Tonight, tomorrow night, 7.30 and 9.30. Now, a lot of people know you from Flight of the Concord, which was a brilliant show. Oh, yeah. I, I, I still wish it was on. You know, me too. Me too. I'd still be getting paid. Right. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, seriously. So, what, did you have a good experience on the show? Yeah, it was great because, you know, it was like, everyone was really nice. And, of course, the... Brent and Jermaine are two of the nicest guys I know, and friends previously, so whenever you can work with friends, yeah. as I'm sure you guys have discovered, 
It's oh, we're not friends. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's no chemistry here. Zero. Yeah. 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 You guys are learning the hard way. Lots of hatred. It's tough to do a comedy show with people you hate. Yeah, it is. I mean, how bad is it when you you don't just have a cough button, you actually have a button that says jump. Yeah. No. He jumps. He Jump is worse. It's like the Poonado. I hit that button, you don't want to see what's going to happen. Was, I just had coffee. Could yeah. have <laughs> oh, it was a really great show to be on. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you got Although the. Although I was a stand up for 15 years before and continue to do that as my primary job. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm trying to introduce myself because so many people know that Fly the Concords but don't realize that you know, I'm a touring stand up. So that's why I come to these clubs like the Great American Comedy Company. People come out and go, yeah. I didn't know you were. You know, I've, I've, seen, I've been coming to your shows for years, and I still didn't know your stand. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you do. Yeah, <laughs> and you get paid for it, so like, awesome. Yeah. Now, did that incorporate like your stand up and your style? Because your style is very, you know, defined into the show. Yeah, I felt it was so genuine when you were on the show. <laughs> Obviously, the, I think the guys are too. Well, um, their whole thing was sort of be yourself. They wrote the parts for the people based on their. Uh, impressions of the various actors. They're all friends of their, theirs. And I think I must have come off that way a little Davish when I first met him. <laughs> Did you even have the headband on when you met him? Yeah, I, mean, I, when you actually, went I used to wear that. That was a real style. I used to wear the head headband. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, and then once it, once it was on the show, <laughs> well... Now he wears a visor, so yeah, it's downhill. much better now. Well, yeah. But I mean, even like you, you know, need hair to wear. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, I thought out the ideas, and then you take your character that's having this pawn shop and just creating these things. So I'm like, there's got to be that connection with your stand up to what Although, I don't even know if they had to write parts for you or if they were just like go. No, no, there there was scripts actually, and sometimes we got to improvise at once once we finished filming. And everything that they wanted was on film, then they would often improvise. But as far as like off stage, you know, I think that persona is a little bit, if I don't mind saying, a little dumber than I am in real life. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, Not possible. Oh, as, are you sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're I'm pretty dumb. Like when I got to the hotel, I mean, this hotel is great. They said, oh, you know, so you're in luck. We just put the new sleep number mattresses. In all the rooms, oh, and I said, "Oh, that's cool." And, and I go, "What does that mean?" They go, "That means you just punch in your sleep number, and off you go." Right. And I was like, "Cool. What's my sleep number?" <laughs> it's like only you know that, sir. I said, "I know that. <laughs> of course, I know my sleep number. I'm not an idiot." So I go upstairs, call my mom. Do you look at my birth certificate? <laughs> uh, my sleep number. I tried everything. Punch the last four of my social security. Hey, your uh, pin. Birthday, everything. Yeah. My Wells Fargo. Everything. In the, in the end, I gave up. Just put the damn bed on shuffle. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like riding a wave all night. Right. But there's also times uh, you, you you missed it. And I told him that time you needed a wake up call. That trick, if you want to get a how you trick, you can get a wake up call. And this, you could use this trick any, anywhere. Oh, wake right, up I call. I don't remember. Refresh. Oh, you, the hotel number. You just um, hotel oh, style yeah. wake up call. Oh yeah. Tell tell tell. It's a good tip. It's a good trick. This oh is a yeah. Good I, well, I was at home and I didn't have an alarm clock. Yeah. Brand new, you know, moved in the apartment, and this is up in the Bay Area, and so instead, here's what you do, friends. If you're, you don't oh, have the alarm. Good tip. Okay. Yeah. You just call the hotel down the street, and <laughs> request a wake up call. Yeah. And they go, "What's your room number?" I said, four one five two five zero three nine one." And then she caught on. She's like, "Sir, what are you doing on the forty first millionth floor?" Okay. <laughs> the floor is being renovated. So. I actually forgot that joke. Like, what joke are you talking about? He tried to. He threw you the the softball. That's and you were kind like, of hey, dumb. What? It's kind of dumb. I guess I'm kind of dumb in real life. Uh, <laughs> the character Dave says Arch is dumber, and Arch says the character Dave is dumber. Uh, it's a battle, <laughs> and you never see him in the same room. Right. Well, well, come on down and find out for yourself. The Great American Comedy Club, seven thirty dot three. There you go. It. It's happening this weekend. It's gonna be great. And you're in the perfect place to talk also about the uh, the your uh, off Broadway show. The marijuana logs. Well, funnily enough, he's one of the co-creators. Nice. It's me and Tony and Doug Benson that created that. Oh, Doug together. Benson, really? What yeah. a shock. Yeah, yeah. shocking. Yeah. 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 Did yeah. you see what Sanjay, Dr. Sanjay Gupta just came yeah. out Yeah, he's and just said, like, sorry guys, I was wrong. Yeah, you know how I advised <laughs> yeah. all of America saying medical marijuana was bad? Well, actually, my bad. 
It's it's good for medical marijuana. I picked up this nugget, and I'll tell you, it is awesome. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. It's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would he, like, try it for the first time or something? Yeah, he's he like, said. Wait, he's got yeah. a little documentary yeah. coming out about, like, oops, I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. a weed documentary Sunday night on CNN, so. It's oh, true. is that right? So yeah. it turns out I was talking about meth. Meth is really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and, then, and then a year from now, you know what? I was wrong about meth, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I finally I lost my job. He's got no teeth. No. It's fine. No, but you know, it's just partly because these guys, they always come out with their own products, so she's always going to build this new line of <laughs> my Sanjay Gupta balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the Gupta better. bong. I bet you like those Gupta balls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Family show. Wait, or no, not. not. Or, or, or not. not. Never mind. Never mind. That's your motto? Family show or not? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Usually not. <laughs> like, how do you want to take it? Right. <laughs> Well, it sounds like this is going to be a great show. Looking forward to it this weekend. American Comedy Company. Go check them out. 7.30, 9.30. Great having you guys in here. Mm -hmm. It's a real pleasure. Glad yeah, having you in San Diego. And good luck to everything. <laughs> Thank you. We'll uh, see you next time. All right, see you this weekend. Yeah, that, hopefully. Yeah. Watch out for the awesome. Punado. Yeah, don't get hit with the Punado. No, no one That's wants that. <laughs> all right, George just played last night. We talked a little bit about this morning. Bad outcome, but there is a bright side. We're going to get into that coming up next.